Insults sting. They can leave us flustered, angry, and tempted to retaliate. But before you stoop to their level, remember, true power lies in maintaining composure. Here's how to handle insults responsibly and with dignity. 1. Recognize the source. Not all insults are created equal. As Maya Angelou wisely said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Sometimes, insults come from people struggling with their own issues. Consider the source. Is it a friend having a bad day or a stranger seeking a reaction? 2. Take a deep breath or 10. The initial sting of an insult can cloud judgment. Take a moment to compose yourself. Rushing into a response can lead to regretful words. Remember, as Ralph Waldo Emerson advised, do not go around bewailing a lost paradise. Set about creating a new one. Focus on regaining your composure. 3. Don't take it personally. Insults often reveal more about the insulter than the target. As Eleanor Roosevelt said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Their words are a reflection of them, not you. 4. Respond with confidence, not anger. A calm and confident response disarms the insulter. Look them in the eye and simply say, I don't appreciate that kind of language, or that comment is unnecessary. Sometimes a simple, excuse me, can be enough to show your disapproval. 5. Walk away when necessary. Engaging with someone who thrives on negativity gives them power. If the situation escalates or the person persists, politely excuse yourself and walk away. As Lao Tzu said, he who conquers others is strong. He who conquers himself is mightiest. Remember, silence can be a powerful response. Sometimes, the best way to show your disapproval is by not giving them the satisfaction of a reaction. Humor can deflect tension. If appropriate, a witty quip can disarm the situation. Focus on the bigger picture. Don't let someone else's negativity ruin your day. By following these tips, you can handle insults with dignity and maintain your self-respect. As Nelson Mandela said, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. Conquering the urge to retaliate is a true sign of strength.